In this demo, we are going to show how the data validator is used for validating data warehousing and database migrations. The data validator tool is an open source CLI tool that helps us in comparing data from source and target tables and verifying that they match up the migration is completed. So in order to use the uh, tool, we need to first install validator and Teradata SQL dependencies and then create a BigQuery data set in a table to store the, uh, the results. So let's go ahead and install the tool in our environment. Install the Teradata SQL package, which is used for making Teradata connection. And create a BigQuery data set. Then the table. With this, uh, the tool installation and setup is complete. Now we're all set to execute the, the validation tests on source and target. But before that, we need to create connections to the source, um, the source and target. And once the connections are create, we are created, we can run the uh, validations. So first we'll create the source connection, just error data. Pass the host address port and the database credentials. It's created. Similarly, we create a BigQuery connection target. Now we can execute the validation tests on source and target. So we are executing a column validation tests on customer table and national table. Um, by default, uh, the validator performs the count operation on both the tables and outputs the results on the screen. Two, two tests have been performed, uh, one on TP, um, the customer table, which is so successful. Um, there's both source and target counts are equal. Um, whereas the test on nation failed as the um, target test one additional record. Um, so now if you want to store this uh, test results to BigQuery table, we need to execute, we need to pass an additional flag to the same command that we just executed before, which is a BQRH flag. which tells the validator to write the output to results table. Let's, let's go to the cloud console and see if the results recorded there. We execute the query. So we have now we have a two rows um, created in the BigQuery table corresponding to two tests we executed and one of success and one failure. The validation tool also allows us to save the uh, test configurations in YAML file. Um, this, uh, this YAML file is useful for any common validations um, of, uh, and also for repeated execution during the migration process. So let's um, uh, review the YAML file which was created earlier. So this, this is the structure of the YAML file. So which um, has a result handler um, where we provide all the BigQuery related details, um, uh, the data set and the uh, table name for where we want to output the test results, pass the source and target connection and validations. Um, in this uh, in this YAML file, we are performing um, two two validations. Basically, one is a count, and one, another operation is sum on account balance column. 
We also supplied uh, filters on national and group by column by market segment. So we'll execute this YAML file. Execute this YAML file by running the data validation configuration. The output will be written to BigQuery database. So we'll run the query again. So now we see additional records here um, on the customer table. There are five records uh, on for count related tests and there are five on the some um, some related uh, test validations as we have asked the validator to group the by segment so there are five segments in customer table so for every segment uh, both count and sum is being performed and uh, the test results is test results are you know recorded in the bigquery table so with this uh, demo is completed thank you